going to be showing you how to program a new remote to a Hyundai. This is a Hyundai i40 2012 model. Now, as you can see, we have no working remote for the vehicle. So the first step is going to be is to plug in your diagnostic tool. Now, on this vehicle, there is actually an OBD2 port. It's actually located in a little panel that says OBD2 and fuses. So we're going to take this panel off. You just need to pull on it. And then underneath there, there's going to be an OBD2 port. So we're then going to take the diagnostic tool and plug in to the OBD2 port. Once you've done that, you should get some lights on the actual VCI communication box. As you can see, we have a power and a Bluetooth light. Should always be at least those two lit up. We'll put that out of the way. We're then going to come over to the actual diagnostic tablet itself, the OBD star. We're going to hit agree. We're going to go to diag program. We're going to select a mobilizer. We're then going to come over to the manufacturer of Hyundai. We're going to hit the latest version. And we're going to go select from type. We're going to select remote. We're going to select 16 pin. And for this vehicle, it uses type 1. We're going to hit program remotes. It's going to ask you to insert the key, turn it to the on position, off position, then remove the key. Insert key, turn to the on position, off position, remove key, and hit yes to continue. It's then going to say program remote, press lock or unlock for more than one second. So I'm going to push lock. You're going to get a success message on the actual tablet. It's going to ask you whether you wish to program another. For this one, we're not going to. Just the one. It's going to say program complete. And click OK. We're going to go all the way back. We're going to unplug the diagnostic. And then we're going to test the remote. As you can see, it locks. Unlocks. And a little hidden feature on this particular vehicle, this actually has a panic button, this remote, whereas the original does not. It does actually have a panic feature. It's just it's not actually installed on the original remote, although the function is built into the car. And that's about it. Thanks.